Good evening. It's not in my habit to speak into cameras, but we are trying to launch a YouTube channel and in that spirit, I think um, I'm very eager to tell you about how the Edinburgh Fringe unfolded in 2023. It was my second show, so obviously it was a little bit harder to write and motivate myself to get there in the first place because I kind of tried a different tactic this year. I was very busy with my filmmaking until almost July, uh, which is, you know, weeks before the Fringe. Uh, I was shooting until two days before the run started. So I knew that the schedule would look very different and my expectations were set up very differently this year. But I'm very proud to say that I managed to pull off the second show with a lot of success. Uh, we sold out 75% of the run. I've just you know, gotten the numbers back and I'm very happy about that. Uh, but people kept coming back and the <laughs> audience reviews were absolutely wonderful. Very nice. Yeah, it was really great. Thank you, that was fun. Thank Cheers. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Um, another thing I'm really pleased about is the fact that I ran into a lot of, um, you know, acts whom I really admire and uh, whose work, you know, feels aspirational to someone like me. So I have a very clear sense of direction as to where I'm headed with comedy and I feel very glad that, you know, it happened in the way it happened because to be very honest, I think I was very mentally, emotionally and physically spent uh, by the time the 17 day run ended because I'm, I'm a self-produced act, you know, and I'm on my feet a lot. I think I walked upwards of 350,000 steps in Edinburgh. Every day was spent, uh, you know, walking around, talking to people, inviting them to the show, uh, trying to understand where to sort of uh, put the pieces together, if you will, because I took about three to four days to understand the shape of my own show this year because I knew I was not going in with a completed piece. And I'm really glad that uh, from the beginning to the end it felt like the pace just get, got better and better and the show felt much sharper. I have a lot of content to share with you from the show uh, and I was just um, you know so happy that you know we made the decision to go there and we pulled it off as a family. The whole month of August is insane uh, when it comes to Edinburgh and the prices for everything there and we also managed to shoot a short film uh, which was about a three-day shoot with two of my most favorite acts. Uh, we titled the piece Comedians in Bars. It is about uh, all the things that kind of hold us back and all the apocryphal freedoms we have. Uh, I'm an immigrant mother of two children, so I think being a comedian is a very difficult choice for me, but I do it anyway because I love it and it's a halfway house with everything else that I'm trying to achieve artistically. Uh, I have a friend called Jay Lafferty who is a Scottish comedian. Uh, she's a local uh, comedian in Edinburgh and a fantastic one at that and she took time to talk to us at, in this documentary, as did Benjamin Elliott, uh, who has cerebral palsy and runs uh, a show um, with a group called the Blue Badge Bunch. And he was so much fun to talk to. Uh, I met him last year, I've seen his act a couple of times and he's extremely funny and light-hearted in the way he presents uh, a, a life that is so challenging and how to sort of laugh at it, at, at all the challenges that come your way. And I think I was very inspired by just the act of creating that little film in those three days. A few things that could have gone better really were to do with, you know, how the whole thing plays out for an artist. Of course, uh, you know, you go back there thinking, why am I here in the first place? You know, that's always the sentiment for the second year, I think. I am overall very happy about the 75% run that we sold out, about the audience love that we received. Uh, about the film that we made uh, called Comedians in Bars, about the fantastic coverage the show got uh, on several channels of the BBC and a lot of other press. I'm so grateful about that. And really, it, it is, uh, yeah, it's a milestone that I'm happy about and will smile about because I've taken two weeks off uh, entirely without thinking about comedy or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok. And I've had a fantastic time just relaxing and rejuvenating and thinking about all that is important to me because I think I'm very aware of where I sit in this world and what I'm trying to do with myself and the work that I make and I feel like, um, yeah, this is the beginning of something wonderful and big. So stay tuned and if you like this content, please hit subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, Every Bit Counts and I look forward to sharing my journey with you.